What's up guys, DJ Low Stacks here. Welcome back to the channel. Today what I wanna do is talk to you about a new revenue stream that I'm adding to my DJ service. So some of you know, I already have one iPad photo booth. I have the photo booth from photoboothstartup.com. That booth was great, but I've made a little bit of an upgrade. You guys may have seen the videos in the DJ's Vault. Shameless plug, if you're not a member of the DJ's Vault, link down below. Brandon Wong stopped by and talked about his salsa photo booth, and I was pretty intrigued by it. Then when I went to the DJ Collective a few weeks ago, Brandon was there with one of his booths, so I had a couple of days to spend some time with it, uh, talk to him about it, and uh, learn a little bit more about its assembly. and how he's able to charge the price point that he's able to to purchase the booth and uh, different ways he's found to produce revenue through the iPad based photo booth. Uh, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about that today. Mainly what we're going to be doing is unboxing it, showing you what comes in the package, how to assemble it, and then I'm going to be doing a separate video on the app itself and how to make custom templates uh, for your events. So that'll be in a future video. Right now what we're gonna be doing is unboxing the booth and setting it up. That's coming up next. All right guys, so first things first, like I mentioned, right here in the front is gonna be a QR code. If you scan this code, it's gonna direct you directly to the assembly website that shows you a walkthrough video on how to set this thing up. Now, right out of the box, one of the things I was very impressed with was this rolling SKB case that the salsa booth comes in. It's got these nice wheels on the bottom here, similar to luggage, they're rubberized, and then it also has this handle that pulls up so you can wheel it around. And I just thought that was a nice touch to put it in a good heavy duty case, something that's gonna be strong, durable, and honestly, I feel like it's gonna last a long time. So when you get this thing down, it's back here, it's got four latches that you pop. And you open it up, and inside, First thing you see is actually the top of the booth. Pull that out. You can see I already have my iPad installed. And then there's these nice felt dividers that separate all the pieces. So the next piece is gonna be your base plate. So you set that down first. Then you have another felt divider. Then you have your two tower sections. Also in the front here, you have tools to take the face plate on and off of the iPad. You have your power cable that you're gonna snake up through the posts up to the head of the booth. You have your extension cable to extend the power cable to the wall, which is actually pretty darn long. I don't think in most situations you're gonna to need to add an extension cord to make this any longer. Just run this sucker covered up with gaff tape and you should be good to go. And they also added this nice little touch. It's a salsa microfiber cloth to clean the screen and. Uh, the rest of the booth off if you want to. So next what I'm gonna do is uh, get this case out of the way and we're gonna put this sucker together. So first step, what you need to do is run your power cable up through the bottom of the base plate. And when you put your base plate down, you want the long section. So where the, where the tower pieces mount onto this, it's not centered. It's pushed to the front a little bit. So you want the longer section to the back. That way if people are pushing against the booth, they're not gonna be able to tip it over nearly as easy. So you run your power cable through here. You just need a couple feet. You'll be able to pull the slack out as well. Now you grab a hold of your first section here. You're gonna run your power cable. Through here. Pull out your slack. Now to make sure that you're aligned properly, I like to look down through the tube here and make sure that your bolts are aligned with the nuts that are welded to the base. It's pretty easy to see down in there and make sure that they're lined up. Tighten them down evenly. I like to do both at the same time. So once you get your first section on, you're gonna move on to your second section and do the same thing. You're gonna run your power cable down through Once you get your power cable ran up, put your second piece of tubing on. Now one thing to note when you're putting this together is there is a sticker on the back here that indicates 
how these nuts need to be aligned in order for the two sections to line up properly. If you don't do that, they won't line up right and you'll play hell trying to get this thing together. I did that the first time around and uh, let me tell you, I learned the hard way. So now I'm just gonna pull the slack out of here, grab the top, pull a protective foam piece out of the bottom of it here, attach our power cable. This just slips in and then you tighten the nut. Set the top on, tighten down the two nuts on it. Now it's important to note that you don't want to over tighten any of this stuff. I'm notorious for just really torquing things down. And one thing you want to make sure of is not to do that because for whatever reason, it makes it a lot harder to take apart. And I dealt with that the first time around. Now on the back side here, there's a lever. Now you can loosen this lever, adjust the head. So you can adjust the pitch of the head. Basically the advantage of adjusting the pitch of the head is going to be to allow you to uh, adjust where your backdrop is based on how close you can possibly get to it or you know if you want to be 10 feet away or closer and you're cutting people's heads off you can adjust the tilt here with that then all you do is tighten it down once it's snug pull out on this handle rotate it down so that it looks presentable and you're ready to go all that's left to do now connect this IEC cable to the power brick run this out to the wall, and then gaff tape down your power cable. Now, as you guys can probably hear, there is an internal fan built into the salsa booth, and the big advantage of that is it's gonna help keep your iPad cool. Now, if uh, you're familiar with Apple products, they're notorious for overheating. You leave your iPhone out in the sun, it overheats. Heck, your MacBook, you spend too much time, you know, vi editing videos and it wants to overheat. The iPad will automatically power on once it detects power. So you get in here, open up the Salsa app, create new event, and you're good to go. Now I'm going to do a separate video walking you through how to create events, how to basically go through and create templates in Photoshop for these events. Um, that's a relatively easy process. If you're semi good with Photoshop, it's not that hard to do. So I'm going to walk you through that and the functionality of the app in a separate video. If you're like me, what you're probably asking yourself now is, can I make this purchase justifiable? Now the price tag on the salsa booth, if there's not a discount code going at the time or anything like that, they're coming in right around uh, $29.95, I believe. And you have, to, you have the price of the iPad on top of that. Now you should be able to get a return on your investment after five or six events, depending on what you're charging. Currently, I'm running this thing out for $500 and I've had great success with that. Uh, I feel like people don't think it's unreasonable, even though it doesn't do prints. Uh, it is capable of prints if you want to do a wireless printer. I have chosen not to go that route because I do not want to have to pay an attendant to watch the booth or change paper. I don't want to have to just, I don't want that extra expense. This is supposed to be an easy, simple add-on service on top of my DJ services. And that's what I'm selling it as and that's how I'm using it. So. Now, I definitely, don't get me wrong, I will take this sucker out on its own and set it up for its own event. I did a engagement party this weekend. I was DJing a uh, holiday party, and I had this set up at an engagement party. I rented it out to them for 500 bucks for the duration of the night. They loved it, uh, great things, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna book it for their wedding as well. So that's another way that you can get some income out of this. So think engagement parties, bridal showers, baby showers. That, that type of stuff. Rent this thing out to that. Uh, the best way to do that is probably gonna be contact venues and talk to them about their scheduling if they if they rent it out for bridal showers and things like that. Get them to help you sell this thing. If you guys would like to jump in on the salsa train, chugga chugga choo choo, link down in the description below. It's my personal link through salsa. Tell Brandon I sent you and uh, good luck selling some photo booths, guys. That's about all I have for this one. I'll catch up in the next one. If you're new around here, please click subscribe. Please like this video if you liked it. Click that notification bell so you can get notifications on my upcoming videos. Coming here soon will be a walkthrough of the Salsa app. Peace.